Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Hey guys, it's Ichiman, we call me King, and we're here for the final week. Yes, we finally made it. <laughs> um, this week we are fighting a very scary, well not scary, opponent, I do gotta say. I actually kind of felt confident on specifically the matchup. Um, but it was a scary match mainly because this had a lot um, on the line, specifically for my opponent. Uh, my opponent, I think if I win, um, and then someone else is winning, he's just out of playoffs. So he's kind of tryharding. Um, so I needed to also try to get, you know, going. Um, but anyways, <laughs> let's get into his team what we brought. His team is Chien Pao, Legion Bolt, with Terror, Petrant, Screamtail, Talon Flame, Toad Squirrel, Taurus Paldera, Aqua, Dedan Spice with Terror, Salazzle, and Copperaja. Um, I mean, obviously, there's some big threats. You know, Chien Pao, Raging Bolt, Terra, Petrin. Real big annoying threats. I'm not gonna lie, the biggest mod I'm scared of is that Petrin. That mod can kind of just wall us. I mean, if I let mod that you see on <laughs> on the screen right now die, I think I get six out of my Petrin. So I have to hope either that mod just doesn't come or he just lets it die, basically. Um, but also, Raging Bolt's scary. If he's, um,. A very defensive set, I could have a incredibly tough time. But luckily, I think we'll be okay with that because you know, Terror Rage and Bolt usually likes to get get a little freaky with its terrors. You know, like he's probably gonna either try to count a Great Tusk or Arch Aladon or maybe Pumarina, the nice like steel, something like that. So, anyways, the first one I have is Snorlax Leftovers. Um, pretty much. Yawn is the big thing for this guy. This guy is here to wall Petron with immunity. That's the the entire gist. Slash on Petron. Any if, if if they don't come, this mod is just a, a throwaway mod, a backup to whatever a sack, whatever I need it to be. Um, I do have coverage for stuff like Supercell Slam, for Talon Flame, and Tauros. With quick to hit, pretty much almost everything super effectively, and heavy slam specifically for Screamtail because that mod can be a monster. Um, out of the thousands of times, not thousands, but the like 10 times I've used it in draft, all 10, you know, all 10 draft leagues I've used it has gone crazy, so. Um, yeah, well, we'll very basic selects, so max, max, but death. And we're just simply going for the wall that Petrin, because like I said, that Petrin's really big into our team, so. I had to make sure that one got checked. Now next up is good old Belly Bolt. Last time Belly Bolt came in clutch, so I'm hoping he can do it again as being our Raging Bolt check, which yes, I know it's weird. This bond physically cannot touch Regent Bolt, really. Um, but we want to toxic it, yeah. If he's going to do some combine shenanigans, we can eerie impulse it and make a minus two special attack. And if he's just like a boost to special attack or some sort of like AV, we simply can just be a douchebag basically and toxic stall with slack off. And then we'll volt switch for the very nice momentum, especially since his team hates this. Um, funny enough, if, if you... Even the Calcs, Electromorphous Volt Switch sent the two times damage boost. It can actually one shot most of his mod. It one shots like half his team. So um, actually, this mod is also a threat just with this. I was thinking about making an offensive one this week, but I just cut it sadly, just because that Raging Bolt is Raging Bolt. And yes, if he is Terra Steel or Poison, um, or if he's like a subset, I get hard walled and I probably lose to Calm Mind on the spot. So I could get very much 6 would like that. Hopefully he won't bring that. I don't think he would bring Steel or Poison. I mean, maybe Steel for Primarina Moonblast, but also that's unlikely, because then he gets hard walled by Skeletor forever. So I, I, I think like a very offensive, basic, like, fairy, maybe water or grass, something like that, would come over, over anything, so. Uh, next up is Big Primarina Lefties. A very physically one, more like Max Fizz Death, basically. Well, of course, big Chien Pao. Chien Pao the threat. We gotta make sure that mod's checked. And Pumina does a somewhat decent job. Um, if it's like any boosting item, we can only really come on it twice, come in on it twice. Um, any other time, we kind of can't. And if he is just no boosting item like Heavy Duty, we're, we're big chilling. This, this mod walled it pretty well. Um, we are hyper voice looking with. I'm sorry for the audio. If you can't tell, I'm tired. <laughs> um, I am hyperfully sick of this week specifically for substitute if he wants to bring a sub Chien Pao set. 
I think it's unlikely. I don't really think it's great into my team. SD looks good into my team. Sub doesn't. This because I have a lot of ways to break it. I have a lot of ways to check it. I have a lot of ways to have a good one-time check like skill and Dage cold blood and all that stuff. So yeah, and we're gonna rain dance for big our challenge on. Yep, we're tailor grass this week because it's only week to Chien Power and that's it really. Um, big gold AV, and we were running the Electroshot set. Yeah, we're finally running it. Final week, and that's because this this mod doesn't have a switch. It, his, his switching is he sacks something and then gets Shian power. Which, if we are plus one and not Terra, it's not a switch. In. And if we are Terra with plus one, he has to get 30% chip. If not, we he has to trade his Shian power for an Archaladon on and something else. Not to mention, his check is Toad School, which Terra Grass, we wall it pretty much forever, um, and it can't be sword luckily, and the best part is, due to how Electroshot works, um, although if it, the ground type comes in, we still get the special attack boost, so we always two shot, um, Toad School with Dragon Pulse here, that's why this is so good here, it's either we get a kill, or we get the plus one boost into a kill, <laughs> pretty much is the best way to put it. And this mod with Rain Dance is big because, like, yet again, we, we lower that Fi weakness, which Town Flame could be a nice check too if you want to try to stall us or something. Um, but also, yet again, just like the, the, the Electro Shot spam is so crazy here, especially since his other resist, Raging Bolt, is going to tear out. So it is just such a. And, like, um, oh, pretty much it's it's pretty busted here. This is my Chan Power for his team right now. Um, if I just get one Electro Shot, he's in a terrible, terrible position. Um, like, quite literally game-losing position. That's how big this mod is with Selection Shot is making it. So, that's why I wanted to run it, because like I said, if he's going to bring the big guns, I want to bring the big guns. Um, I don't know if I'm going to run this for future weeks slash playoffs, but hey, it is going to be fun to run it this week. I'm going to say that for sure. I don't, I, I hate weather teams, but Electro Shot is pretty nice. Now, this is my main weather setter. Um, big Aladdin Azulf here. I love a Azulf. I'm so sad that I'm actually not getting much use out of it. Um, I want to use this mon so often, but I'm kind of just getting walled by crazy dark types to my opponent, so I'm like, I can't do on this. Anyways, we're pretty basic um, Azulf set. We're, we're max um, HP, max speed. Uh, Rain Dance, Stealth Rock, you turn in Psychic. Psychic is specifically for Petron because, like, I need a Petron check. Also, um, Taurus can be a big threat because my Taurus check is also Primarina, which means Primarina the wall, Chien Pao, and Taurus. So that can get out of hand. Um, so having, like, a nice backup as, like, I could just sack something and then get Azelfin. And the kill is nice. Um, you turn a course for Momentum. Stealth Rock for obvious reasons. He has Chien Pao, Talonflame. And then, of course, the Rain Dance Rain uh, Damp Rock is for Big Arch Aladon here, so... Um, but yeah, it, its main job is to Rain Dance and get out of there, pretty much. That's the best I could, you know, really say about it. Now, Hunnamon is Big Cleanup, a Great Tusk here. We are a Choice Grave here, so I can't fuck up any stats like I did last week. <laughs> um, and this also means everything, you know, not barring his own Scarf. And, uh, we're a pretty basic set, like, pretty much max speed-ish. We're, we're very, we have almost max speed. Not max, max, but pretty much. And, uh, we have a very basic headlong close combat rock slide ice spinner set. Rock slide specifically for town flame, ice spinner specifically for toad school, and close combat headlong is for everything else. Um, those are two themes that, like, kind of great test haste, hates, so, um, it's nice to have that. And, uh, no Iron Head because Headlong does more than Iron Head to Scream Tail. Yep, that's right, Great Tusk just hits harder. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's our six of this team. I don't really have much to say besides, you know, I said of course to... The big scene is this. If we can get this off, pretty much one Electro Shot, it is practically game, so... I'm hoping I can just get it off and pretty much start snagging a couple kills for stuff like Great Tusk to pretty much clean up. That's a big scene. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the match. Um, get Rage of Bolt then and done. Yep, that's kind of what I think. Um, okay. I'm gonna feel good in my decision. Fuck, my nose is acting up. 
Oh, wait a minute. Holy shit. No Petra. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Well, that's amazing. That is so good. Um. Hulk. And Big Shin. And he is a grass town raging bull. So that is awesome to know because that means I can talk to him. Which is my whole game plan. <laughs> um, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What's he gonna lead? Hmm. I don't know what he's gonna lead. To be fair, Neil does great here except into Water Tours before I get the Rain Dance off. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, and one second left. <laughs> I got scared. I got so scared. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I fell into my Bennett. I was I was zoned the fuck out. Okay. Also. I hope nothing happens, but it is crazy storming outside. And I mean crazy storming, I mean crazy storming outside. So I, um, hope nothing bad happens. Okay. Um. The switch into this is probably Chien Pao. And my switch into Chien Pao is Miss Magon Trino. Video we have her on our team. That's big bucks to get on the team. I kind of want to get stealth sucked up for specifically Chien Pad to know if he's um, like um, banded or not, but I also really want to go for rain. I'm gonna go for the rain dance. You might just go for the nice, good old, you know what? Good old rocks. Oh, wish. Okay. Super fine with me. I'm super fine with this. I'm going straight into my big boy. <laughs> going straight into the big man himself. Yep. Fine by me. He can thunder wave Oich if he wants. I don't care. I'm only here to. Uh, I only have enough speed to outspeed Mr. Uh, Big Man's dance voice. So. Encore. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I am going to click the big button. <laughs> Get to plus one. What are you gonna do, my friend? What will you do? Big Arch Alodon, what are you going into? Toad School, yep, this is kind of exactly what I expected. Mr. Toad School, I am now plus one. However, you will most likely not be able to touch me. Um, this still proc suckily because Electroshot is the most busted mood imaginable. Um, so we can look at the plus one even though we're not going to hit him, and that's why I'm so confident going in and clicking this. Now I can simply just tear the grass and click Dragon Pulse for a nice feel 46%. So. This is super fine by me. We have Damp Rock, so we have a bunch of turns left still. Let's see what he goes for. This mon can very much take game if this dies. If this if this dies, uh, I just like click the button, basically. And that's why I was like, if I am Terror Grass, it's good. Oh, Dazzling Gleam. Okay, I see. I'm not plus one defense. Gleam. I was really scared. Are you super spread up? You're not super spread up. At all. Uh, Dazzling Gleam. I was super scared of uh, Spore, as I can never one-shot this mon, so... Uh, yeah, we click Dragon Pulse again. Um, I don't know why you're gonna try to stall out the turns, because now I'm just gonna go for Electro Shot. Yeah, I, uh, this is fine with me, my friend. I click Electro Shot again, and then I click Flash Cannon. If you're gonna let me get to plus two, um, I'll gladly take plus two. You know? Ah, okay, yep, I kind of forgot about that. He's fast on forward, duh. Okay, good way, good way of shutting down. Good way of shutting this down. Should've, I should've swapped a flash cannon because that always does the same amount of damage. Um, so I think I'm gonna go straight back into this and get my rocks up then. I mean, I did get massive chip on Toad, which yet again is needed for Bolt to go crazy. So the fact that that is down is really good for us. Well, not down, but really weakened. Wish. Uh, I guess he's gonna try to wish up Toad School, which is fine by me. Um, yeah, no, we could we could still fuck here. He might go straight into the big Chien Pao, which is scary. Maybe I should have U-turned. Talon Flame. Oh, okay. So he has a nice neutral ground. Because then he could defog away. 
Maybe he thought I was gonna bring back um the guy with his name my child on, so. Y'all could probably hear the thunder in the background. Okay, yep. Bane stopped. He knows I'm damn fucked. Now my talon check. <laughs> What's my talon check? <laughs> okay, I may, I may have gotten to have a talon check. I, mean, I guess how much is talon's flame? I mean, I could just click. Rain dance again? Why not? We, we've all like that. I'm faster? So you slow talon flame. Oh, I don't like that. That means he might be a, he might be strong. Okay, he's going to be far. Fine by me. Super fine by me. Good to know that he's slow though. The fact that he's slower than as often. Now I can just get a YouTube. I don't even care if I get flame body but I'm not actually physical. So. He does get it first try. I'm not Sash, I don't care. I'm scared of him having flying moves on this, so I don't want to go into that. <laughs> Just because of that, you know? Although, we got a snow wax right now. I feel slam doing like 40. I don't know why that thought you're doing so good. I'm, oh, it's because he's maxed his death. If, if he's maxed his death, I'm not doing that. But it's okay. Let's see if he goes for the, the the willow. Oh, he he packed the sunny day. Oh my god, this is the first week we brought Vayne, and my guy packed sunny day. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for booster, duh. Makes sense. Um. So his team, yeah. Now we click Yon here. He does just click willow. Okay. So willow defog sunny day. So this is actually good for us. Like I mean, my my uh, Snorlax is here to do not. After I saw no Salazzo or Petrarian, I don't need this guy. So that's why I'm fine with this. Um, I am willing to click it again. Yep. He might not be U-turn. I mean, he only has one move. Now, I get why he wanted to for Raging Bolt, but it's also confusing because this mod is a threat into my team. Like, holy shit, this mod is a threat into our team. So the fact that he's just gonna let this, you know, not be able to click the, the big, strong, um, neutral ground water move is really fine by me. As his team is not... I guess, actually, his team doesn't like... Yeah, okay, I see why. Um... Yeah, so we just go into this. I mean, I could also go into this, because you're not going to do anything to me. Like, if the sun's up... Oros... Aqua... Do Azel... Even in the sun? Oh no, in the sun he's only doing 30%, so I'm actually willing just to go into this. And I am fast if he's not scarred. Yep, he does a double out. Because he doesn't want to be yawned. Mr. Toad School comes out. Fine by me. Now I want to see if I kill this. Good. Doing 30... 35. That is... like what? That should be enough? No, that's like 30 maybe max. So if he's like Spadaf, this sucks. I went to town for him. I think I'm just gonna U-turn out. Should I just U-turn out? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, hmm. Also, is he like Sunny Day? Or is Sun Rock? But we'll know after this turn. I think I just clicked U-turn. Like it does have a kill. I'm scared of Gian Pal getting in for free. Okay, he does just stay in. It's quite fine by me. 
I just didn't want Big Chien Pao to come in. Chien Pao the threat, so... So he dies to anything, basically. I think I'm just gonna go into this. And we will see if you are... Uh, what's it called? Sun Rock? Flame Rock? Energy Ball? Does nothing. Okay. Are you Sunny Rock? Okay, you're not. Um, now he's switching to this with Big Man himself. Um, both of the switching. I'm kind of willing to just go back into this. He does stay in because I am slow. So, uh, he's probably going to just go real for like an energy ball. Get some chip before he dies, yeah. Big chip. Um, and click U turn until it cools down. Very big for the for the gang. Knowing this talent point set is incredibly defensive and passive. Um, Archer Alon goes crazy. Like I just, I, there's not, there's nothing, no other way to put it. He either he's most likely five move for Sunny Day. So knowing that, if I get the the rain up perfectly, then he's screwed. Um, so. Belly Bolt's a nice neutral ground because his entire team does not like Belly Bolt. Well, I guess maybe Chien Pao does. How do you like it, Chien Pao? How do you like my Belly Bolt? Hmm, I don't like it, but you know. I think maybe I just go into this. And see if I can maybe bait out Screamtail and go for a Toxic. That's what I'm gonna hope for. That or Town Rat, because... I guess he's, uh, this also means that if he's talent- Nah, he's not gonna go into talent flame because he's not boost. He's, he's not gonna have no attack and move, especially with Sunny Day up. Like, talent flame has a, a good special attack set. Or even physical. Yep, Scream Take comes out. Perfect. So, us beating this means we get a very nice Toxic off on this. Which is what we want. We absolutely fucking eat that up. <laughs> Big Belly Bolt. Also, this is good to know that he's not going to be boosted at Energy Rage Bolt because he has Sunny Day. So he could be Lefty Lord. So that's really nice. Are you Lumberry? Nope. That's big. That is very, very big. Super big. Plus. Um, Psychic. There's Uncle Wish, Psychic, probably last move is going to be Protect. Bo, 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 do. I'm going to just slack. Oh, not slack off, but uh, Bolt switch out of here. Like, the fact that we just got the, the wish off is big for us, you know? Big chip. Um, I kind of want to go into this and just click the, the big, the click main dance again. Although he could go into something else. Could go into this. I'm not fast at though. Let's get a thunder wave. I mean, I don't care about thunder wave. I guess I'm scared about 30%, which knowing me, I will get. Um, into screen tail. Oh, wow. Maybe we just go our on. Yeah, why not? Let's just go our child on. We don't even need the, the boost. Like, the boost is big, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see these lefties, which I did miss last time, so oopsie. I also forgot to write down that Town Plum is heavy duty, so, no. Um, I don't think he stays in because he's in Flash Cannon Mage, and his Flash Cannon Resist is... I'm trying to, I'm trying to look, I guess it's Raging Bolt. I'm fine if it comes out. <laughs> you just click Psychic, this might just kill you. This has a good chance to kill you if you're not Spadette. And we know you're very fast. Okay, fuck yeah, we'll just take that dead. Um, thank you. Um, Jianpao might be coming out, but that's okay. Another thing that's nice about Jianpao comes out is the fact that we got the defense boost, um, actually means 
that he cannot go for the nice neutral ground duck move for us. He has to go for the ice up the crash. Um, if he was banded, he could have went for the either crunch or I guess I think he gets a better move, right? Uh, oh no, he gets sucker punch. Um, but the duck or ice move, and I think duck does slightly. I think crunch does slightly more. Super Marina, if I remember correctly. Um. You can also go into Talon Point, although we know this is slow Talon Point. That's something to keep in mind, he is slow Talon Point. Let's see, let's see. Raging Bolt comes out actually. I guess because of the Tear Graph, yeah? Um, well, we know you're not boosted, so I'm just gonna go hard belly ball here. I can't risk any shenanigans happening. Can't risk any calm line shenanigans. Raging ball into belly ball. Oh, I forgot to name him Jimmy Geese this week. Sorry, buddy. He just belly ball. Yep, he does tear grass. He's grass now. Which is fine by us, we don't care. Unless he's sub. If he's sub, I'm in a bad, 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 bad situation. If he's sub, I might lose the game, actually. But why would he sub in front of a uh, HL round of 35%? So I don't know. Okay, he goes straight up. I am super fine with that. I am super duper fine with that. He could slack off. So. Um. Toxic is also super free here, like look at his team and look at his Toxic, he doesn't have it with this and I mean even actually Volt Switch is super nice here, but yeah, I'm going for the, I'm going for the Volt Switch, not Volt Switch, so I suck off here, so I can come back on a Draco, because I think he's going to swap out, I mean his team does not like a Electromorphous Volt Switch, no more Toxic, oh he's going for the crit, he doesn't get it, I think that was a quick play, can't lie, I think that was a quick play, um, got a very nice slack off. He's minus four right now, so he's doing nothing. Um, I am going to go for Toxic now. Now that his Draco Media is not Dragon Pulse as well, that's nice to know. Damn, defogging with Talon Flame is making me think this is um, Banded Shan Pal. Like, the fact that he's such a stupidly defensive Talon Flame into my team that's kind of weak to Talon Flame. Sounds like it's pretty good here offensively, so. This is fine with me. If I get my toxic off, this is bad for you. If, you're de if this is defensive talent flame, we'll take it. If this is Chien power, we'll take that. Please hit my friend. You are the go if you hit this. Come on, Jimmy Beast. Oh, I guess your belly bolt. Yeah! That's my fucking goat! That's my goat right there. Banner or not, we should be able to stall this out now. Um, I think we just go straight into Prim. As we can always take two. The Chien Pao Choice Band into Miss Kumarina. Yeah, Choice Band is doing nothing to me because I am max at that. So. I also just realized I did relax. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, no, I didn't. I didn't mean to do relax on purple. So flip two. Yeah, we just ice flashes. Let's see how much damage you do to me. That okay. 124 to 185. Life orb. Okay. As I say, like you're definitely a boost in from that, isn't it? Super nice here. That is super nice here. Um, his moon blast switching doesn't exist. Neither does hyper voice. Actually, hyper voice is pretty free here. Ah, uh, he's tail grass. Um, he's definitely not gonna stay in and let this die, that's for sure. I could... I think his switching's gonna be... Raging Bolt? And because of that, I think I'm still just gonna move back. Cause Raging Bolt... Air grass. I'm thinking 30%. Nah, I think we just flip turn here. Yep. I think just Raging Bolt's gonna come out. Yep, 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 yep. I can get a nice pivot back in.
Raging Bolt goes down, I feel really confident on this battle. Um, I don't think Ice Bin is going to kill him yet, so I gotta be careful about that. Let me see, let me see. Great Tusk. Good Grass. Ice Bin is not doing a lot. So no. Um, yeah, so we gotta go back into the Mr. Belly Bolt Meister. We do take... Oh, do we take a Draco? Yeah, we should, because he's not good. He's not good. Okay, maybe not. Oh, he's lefties. Okay. Um, I actually think I might do a neutral ground and go into Snorlax here. And I'm doing that because I... Yeah, there's a role that Belly Bolt could die here. At 136 HP? Wait. Oh, it's level 50. 136 HP. I'm at, oh wait, I'm at 63%. You can never kill. So I'm just gonna slack off here. Yeah, it's probably just gonna go straight back into the Chi and which is fine by me. You probably thought I was going to, um, Toxic there, but that's fine by me. But he never killed me there. So now being at full 100%, we could always take two Dracos. Not um barring crit. I'm gonna find a way to stop like I couldn't find a good check to region bolt without crit, so. Um I think for the safety reasons I should probably just sack because like critical hit into this could be devastating. Okay, I think I might just go into this. Clicky on. Yeah. Because it's just the safest bet here. Like, he could be SD, and if he is, that's scary. But also, who can take it, so. He does just Ice Clash. Okay. That's fine. Goodbye, Nathaniel. My brother's dead. Okay. But yeah, I was going to say, this is big damage. Life Orb and Toxic. That's why I was like, I'm willing to do this. Because if not, I either get a... Oh, I couldn't yawn you. That was a big misplay. Never mind. <laughs> that was a massive misplay if he was SD. I didn't think he would SD because Prim, like, he has to get one more ice crash. One more ice crash means, um, Prim right here just always eats this, you know? Or it can't take an SD. Now we click Moonblast here. I don't care if he stays in. Um, if he doesn't stay in, we kind of, like, win the game. Um, he does just swap out, which is fine by me. He goes, Legion Bolt, yep, we'll take the 30% chip. I guess not, it's not going to be great because he is going to. I, I'm fine with going with this now because I am full HP, so. Hey, we got a special attack drop, that's big. Sorry about that, but hey, we'll take it at the same time. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll take that. Um. So minus one. Get a grass. He's not in the percentage for full combo. Draco's doing a sh okay, but Draco would into ice uh, ice crash or whatever they call it kill me. But I think I might be willing to just take this damage. Yeah, I'm willing to take this damage. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna say, because he might just double the Chien Pow. Oh, he, go, he doubles the Chien Pow. Ooh, we'll take a Rock Slide. <laughs> the Talon Flame is taking 97 to 105% from this if he's defensive, so. Now, yeah, we just go for this. Up. Oh. Yep, that's big for us. That's really nice for us. Stack the down. It's very nice. Force does come out and say he might go into force here. Um. I think I'm gonna sack Mr. Aladdin here. He did a good job, buddy.
Yep. We can pull. Um, so I could go into this right now. I think this might be my best bet. He does get wild charge for me. Like, how much is wild charge doing, I guess? All charging to Primarina. Fifty. So I would be into Arch Range. So because of that, I think I have to go with Neil here. Yeah, I have to go with Neil here because of that. Okay, Grass, his, his best move is close combat. Um... Oh, I just realized I can't kill you. <laughs> um... I think you have this guy that's so fun. Yeah. And we'll know if you're Scarf and... Uh, not Scarf, but like locked if you swap out here. You do swap out, that's kind of screaming some sort of blocked bandit or scarf. So. And we'll take this Dragon Pulse damage. This is big damage. Fine by me. Mr. Bolt, turn grass. The fact that he took that little is you are you're like max HP my friend. Max HP like okay, you're like max HP. A Draco would hurt crap ton. But I'm also willing to go for this chip. But I don't Do I need Arch? I mean if he's Scarf maybe? No, if he's Scarf I don't care. Yeah, if he's Scarf I don't care. Or bandit. So we're just gonna Dragon Pulse here for big damage. Very fast, so he's like mint. Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. That's really good for us. I, I guess he may have thought something else was coming in. Um, but that kind of is screaming now that I think he loses because that um, very aggressive play there means something is dying on his team. Um, I think I should click body press as a neutral ground. Yeah, I'm gonna click Body Press of the Neutral Ground. Um, if he does go into the Chan Power, because I can take one. Actually, no, he can't because of the 50% chip. Nah, I was lying. Okay. Very nice. Now he's forced to go into Chan Power because of my plus one boost. Yep. Mr. Pouser. 46. Okay, I am in range of death. Um, especially if he's life board. But I think I have to go into this no matter what. The plus two life orb kill great tusk. A shard. It is a wolf. So that would be bad. But so if he goes for the SD, there's a wolf. So we just hope that doesn't happen there. Either way, this was a good game. Um, he does just go for the ice crash. Very nice. So he most likely doesn't have the SD. Um, yeah, thanks to leftovers chip from uh, lefties from the raging bolt double. That's why I was kind of willing to go into Quim there. Uh, Meaning I should take another ice crash. So he has to go for a crit or a flinch. And of course, moon blast is free here. So we click moon blast. He's probably just gonna let this die. He does have psychic things. Ooh, oh, close. Okay. Gian Pao's dead, and I think Taurus has to lock himself into a move, so I think this is going to be game. At least he's not locked in, he was just really scared of Mr. Bolter, or Mr. Space, which, which he could have been. Bimarina did a great job, though. Yep. We don't gotta worry about that um, in Tim drop either. Um, for our other mons, so that's gonna be very nice. Let me just get it into the calc for Paldea. He clicks close combat. 
He's now minus one. Oh, I suppose I'm back up. Not here. What is 96? 96 HP is always out of range of non-banded close combat. What about Belly Bolt? Can Belly Bolt just take one? Even banded? Yes. We just do this and click Bolt Switch. <laughs> it does not matter. Okay, awesome. Oh, if only his name was Jesus. So... GG to my opponent. Let's see if he clicks CC. I mean, I think he did. There's no reason not to click CC there. Um, so I, I, I think he is, um, banded or scarce or so. I guess we'll know by this damage right here. Like, he never kills me here. So he needs a crit. Even banded. I guess maybe Adamant? Nope. Adamant can't kill me. And he can't be, he can't swap his moves up. So he can't be banded EQ. So, you know. Yep. Okay, so you wasn't banded. And GG's! GG's to my opponent. That was a, a very scary game. Not like fighting his team. <laughs> the fact that he could have just been sitting tears and I was screwed for Mr. Bolt. And uh, his team is very scary offensively. Very scary offensive team. But um, yeah, GG's. I think this also like helps us in some sort of way i think we might be like um i think we've got like a higher ranking now i don't know what our ranking is in general so but yeah that was a fun match um i don't really have much to say about this match i think i think the turns i think i explained it between the turns which is something i'm trying to do there's not much um like post game stuff um, I guess the only thing I should say is I'm surprised no Petrohunt came. I thought Petrohunt was stupid. I get why. Um, Immunity Snorlax is a amazing check. But also, like, if you chip Snorlax enough or get the Willow on Snorlax like he did, or just, I don't know, kills it in some way, uh, Petrohunt kind of just 6 0 so really thought that would come. Maybe he's also scared of, like, Archalon, Terror, Poison, or Steel. I don't know. Maybe even Normal. Something like that, I guess, maybe. Um, yeah. I'm sad the rain dance gonna get procked off, but that's okay. We got we got one kill with this, so yeah. I'm gonna end it there though. Fun match. GG's. Later.